Well, now I'm working on a harder problem from Brilliant.org. And I don't know how to solve this with algebra. I think maybe it's a system of simultaneous equations. Or you could do something with linear algebra with uh, matrix maybe. But I don't know how to do that stuff. So I'm going to brute force it with the Python program. Brute, by brute force, I mean I'm just going to try all the possible combinations of uh, digits for x and y and z until I find one that produces the right sum. So let's try this. Um, I'm going to take x and y and z through all the possible combinations. So let's go like, uh, like this. So for x in range 10, that's going to take x through all the values from 0 to 9. And then the same thing for y and z. And then that, and then that. And now just to kind of show you what that would produce, if you don't see it already, I can print x, y, z. And you'll see that this produces all the possible combinations of those. Uh, OK, you see kind of why I call it brute force. Now, we only want to print the combination that correctly satisfies this. So what does this mean? Um, it means an x in the tens column plus an x in the ones column plus this plus this equals an x in the hundreds column plus a y and so on. So how can we write an if statement like that? I think something like this. So if this x times 10 plus x. You agree with that? If x times 10 plus x, that's the first part, and now y plus, same thing for y, right? y times 10 plus y, y times 10 plus y, same thing for z, plus z times 10 plus z. If that sum equals this. So what does this mean? This looks like x times 100 plus y times 10 plus z times 1, because these are the 100s column, the 10s column, and the 1s column. So let's see. If that sum equals x times 100 plus y times 10 plus z times 1, if that's true, then we'll print the result. And I need a colon here for the if. And let's run. We should get an answer pretty quickly. Looks like the answer is 1, 9, and 8. Now, why are these zeros printing here? Oh, because it also works for 0. But the problem uh, says that x and y and z have to be different from each other. So let's put that in also. Um, actually, let's not. Let's just go with the 1, 9, and 8. So that means 1, 1 plus 9, 9 plus 8, 8 equals 1, 9, 8. Let's see that in the calculator. OK, so uh, 1, that's 11, plus 99 plus 88 equals 1, 98. There. We've solved the problem by brute force, which is garbage, really because uh, it's a problem for thinking about uh, math. But it gives me an excuse to show you an interesting little computer program here in Python.